For this makeup, I was honored to have an incredible aerial performer named Tavi as my model. With this performance in mind, I decided upon a foam latex prosthetic. This type of prosthetic is very labor intensive to make, but it allows movement and can withstand Tavi's performance, so I had to do it. And I do plan on releasing more in-depth tutorials on how to do this process, and that's going to be coming up pretty soon. But for now, I will just give you guys the cliff notes. I started by taking a life cast of Tavi's face. I then cast a positive and began sculpting the bird prosthetic. Once I was happy with the sculpture, I molded it and then ran the piece in foam latex. To start this application, I fit the prosthetic to Tavi's face and powdered around the edges using the NYX Lux Powder Puff and the SFX Setting Powder. This layer of powder is going to help me map out where I will apply the prosthetic adhesive. Next, I applied a layer of prosthetic adhesive to Tavi's nose. And I'm starting with the nose in particular because it is the central anchor point of the face. Once the glue was dry, I placed the prosthetic in place and continued gluing down the rest of the piece. With the NYX number 11 brush, which is the bent liner brush, I glued down the edges of the prosthetic. This style brush in particular is really good for gluing down the edges around the eyes because it is bent and it allows the brush tip to get into those really small tight places. Since this piece is foam latex, I sealed it using a thin layer of prosthetic adhesive. This step is crucial because foam latex is like a sponge and will soak up makeup and change the color of it. I set that adhesive with the SFX setting powder. To the center of the forehead, I started to apply my colors, and I'm using the NYX Macaron Lipsticks. The one that I'm using for the center is in Pistachio, using the number 9 brush. Next, I'm applying the Macaron Lipstick in Blue Velvet to the top perimeter of the face, focusing it on the sculpted feathers. With that number 9 brush, I'm stippling the blue velvet down into the pistachio to blend the two colors together. To the center of the face, I applied the macaron lipstick in key lime, and I also blended this color upwards into the blue of my cheekbone feathers. I don't know what to call them. Cheekbone feathers? That works. For the beak, I'm going to be coloring it with two more of the macaron lipsticks in Citron and Orange Blossom. Citron sounds so tropical and bird-like. I applied the Citron to the center of the beak and around the edges, I applied the Orange Blossom, blending in between the two. A lot of birds I've noticed have a sheen to their feathers and to mimic this effect, I use the NYX pigments. I also wanted a little sheen on my beak, so I added the pigment in Go Ham. And I lightly dusted that on with a number 16 brush. I applied the pigment in Peacock to all the areas where I applied blue velvet previously. And onto the pistachio and key lime colors, I added the pigment in Twinkle Twinkle. There was a naked little patch of foam above the beak, so I applied the Citrone lipstick. I primed Tavi's eyes with a little bit of the NYX HD eyeshadow base with a number 20 brush. Then onto those eyes, I applied the jumbo pencil in Peacock and blended it out onto the edges of the prosthetics. And to set that pencil in place, I patted on the teal and blue eyeshadows from the NYX Ultimate Brights shadow palette. I wanted that beak to pop a little more, so I blended the orange eyeshadow from the Ultimate's palette around the edges and to the center of the beak. Next, I extended the Key Lime lipstick down around the chin and surrounding the beak. Then I followed the line of the key lime with the line of the blue velvet and blended the colors together with the number 26 brush. For this next step, I airbrushed a black alcohol activated paint to the perimeter of Tavi's face. 
and I chose this paint because Tavi is going to be performing and I didn't want any makeup to get on the costuming or the feathers. For inside of the beak and to add a little bit of depth, I applied the Epic Black Mousse Liner. And that's it for this video guys. Unfortunately, I didn't really plan to release this exact video. My editing software had some corruptions and the video that I spent three days editing is not able to be uploaded. So hopefully this will do for you guys and hopefully you guys will still vote for me for the next face awards. Uh, I really hope that you can see all the effort that I put into this video, especially this makeup. I don't think I've ever put as much effort into a video on YouTube before. So please make sure you go vote for me at nixfaceawards.com and the voting will end on June 23rd. Anyway, Anyway, hopefully I can get a version of this video up that I will be proud of, but for now, this will have to do. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. You are the wind beneath my wings.